Let's play redactyl number 378 on Wednesday, April 19th. We have a two-word title and they're in italics. Does that mean they're in another language? Latin, maybe? Or is it a title? Let's see, the 844 and then 64 in parentheses. I think that means maybe, is it like a, a species? It's an six from the 4610. Okay, is an animal, is an insect maybe? From the something family, it is the seven eight of six nine. Uh, is that a maybe a subspecies? It is the something biggest subspecies of six nine, the four four four, the eight is the five or eleven of a four four. No, that's making me think. It is not an insect. Anyway, it is an 1296. An invertebrate? No, oh, maybe actually, it might be 12. Being a 7, 8 of 4. A 8, 9, 4. Or 5, 8, 6. Ooh, then a lot of small words and that's a big word just goodness eight four five or something on this as a result of um evolution or as a result of something four four five five seven of six are something as twelve six are are not as Something common, maybe? 11, maybe historically? The six, the 8 of 8, 9 for the something of something. 3 being under... 3, oh, uh, for at least so many thousand years in 5 something at six to this 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 and this has been under i want to say under c no has been under well, let's check has has been under has been under something for at least so many thousand years No, I'm not getting that from the four 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 six nine. Well, let me try. Uh, well, my first thought was animal, and then insect. Oh, okay, so insect was right. What are our two animals? If the animal is. Um, something to seven after something has been ten by animal seven so is this it's feeding on animals or animals are feeding on it or it travels around because of animals anyway Um, so I think we have family from the four family ten. The eight four four. Um, well, the first insect I think of with four letters is wasp. No. Ah, what other insect? The eight four four. Um, well, it could be European something-something. No, it could be, but it's not. 
um, the American, I doubt. Well, maybe. And here we have the species. Oh, yeah, if I'd seen this, I think I would have been uh, more sure it was a species of something. Has been under under a lot of pressure, has been under... I cannot think of what that three-letter word is. I'm sure there are many of you shouting at your screens, but I can't hear you. Sorry. Uh, but 558 five, have something. Well, let's try and find maybe, uh, does it have wings? What wings? This is because five six are three three and five for five five wings. It's funny it only mentions wings once. Hmm. How about legs? No legs. And they don't know how to use them. Um Wow. Well, an insect without legs. Can I think of a single insect that doesn't have legs? Hmm. How about thorax? No. Oh, I'm thinking of, well, a very small one would be a mite, but they have um, legs, surely. Okay, I think what I might do, rather than going down through the article and trying to figure out individual words, I think I'm, it might be better use of my time just to think of types of insects. Maybe have wings, maybe not have legs. Um, but just try and think of, there's so many types of insects. The only other thing I might do is look in, uh, look for popular culture, 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, see also, here are some books, looks like, or articles. Nine of the seven. Okay, 6-12. The 11, 4, 8, and 9. None of these are very helpful. 12, 7 on the 6 of 8, 4 of the 8. Uh, nothing uh, really jumping out at me here. We're at the end here. 4, 5 of a 8, 4, 7. That might be something image of a 8, 4, 7 with something of something. Yeah, I'm not seeing any popular culture or where they might be mentioned in um, proverbs or folk tales. In five, a six, nine, the nine of the eights, four. Someone discovered, maybe? No, discovered is ten. This is as in seven. Oh, let's see. As as four, 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 five, or six, seven, and there are five in four. Um, something many. This might be in many cultures. Oh yes, and are um no, it's and are. And are maybe eaten? Oh, as food, okay. But I think this may be uh, the exception. Four, four, five, or six, seven are very delicious. In five, comma, five, four, or six for ten, four, and the six, five are eaten. Eight with four or five. 
I just don't want to find that they're eaten alive. In five, where are these places? In seven, in eight. Apologies for the uh, noise. I don't know if you can hear that. A truck backing up outside. Eaten as something something with with milk as five food on four dash four eight. Okay. Five, seven, and six, eight. Let me just try a culture singular. Two cultures. Eight. Three, two, three. Due to something of culture, the eight has six, a five, eight. In this. Oh, and then we have the, one of the books. Uh, further reading the culture of the eight eight. Okay, um, yeah. So I think, as I said, I'm going to pause here, so you don't have to hear me go through the alphabet trying to tr think of different insect types. But I shall be back. All right. So I start with bowl, as in bowl weevil. Not exactly sure. Well, I don't think they are insects. Then flea was a good guess. But then moth. Finally, so the eight four moth is an insect from the moth family. Now I am a little worried that this Latin name um, I won't know that. So I think it's all right. It's not cheating if I uh, once I identify what kind of moth it is that I. Um, to Google that, try and find out what uh, the Latin name is. But the 8 4, so what? It might be. might be a, a geographical word, the 8 letter one. Then I'm not sure what the 4 would be. Uh, it could be a color. Could be another animal, like is there a tiger moth? I don't know what this moth would be. Uh, I did say American earlier and I sort of dismissed it, but let's try it. No, uh, not that. Um, well, common is often in titles. No, not here. The something something moth is an insect from the moth family, and then the 10, I presume, is another Latin name for this family. It is the something, um, maybe specimen. No, it is the something something. Uh, largest, uh, biggest. No, it is the something something of six nine the four four moth oh could it be a, a relative of yes it is the uh, closest relative of six nine the four four moth what moth could that be the eight is the five or eleven of a four moth it's funny they they use just the eight letter word. So maybe the eight letter word is the important one and four might be a um, kind of a filler word like the eight type moth or the eight something moth. Um, he ate something food or I'm going to say other. No. Uh, green, oh no, plant, no. Um, well, we know moths are attracted to light. <laughs> no, not this case. Um, um, no, or something is something. No, this could be a tricky one. Okay, it took me 
what, about 25 words to find out, figure out it was a moth, f four to find out it was an insect. Um, but often it's that last um, little bit to narrow in takes the longest. Uh, the something something moth. What else do I know about moths? Well, I presume they come from caterpillars like uh, butterflies. Okay. The eight is the... Oh! So... That is interesting. The eight is the blank or caterpillar. Uh, the... Oh, what's the other word? Um, the pupum, is that it? No, it's some word like papum, pupum, Papua New Guinea, something like that. It is an something something insect being a something of, of, uh, of Asia. We do have one Asia in, uh, let's try East Asia, okay, so we just have one East and it's there. Eight, nine, maybe, can be, can be divided into uh, three, maybe, three major, three major something types. Oh, did that. Uh, kinds. No, I didn't do types, but that was the only occurrence into three major ten. Well, maybe um, based on, yeah, based on eight, five, nine. Hmm. I'm going to pause a moment. Just that noise in the background is a little distracting. All right, I've moved. Um, hopefully the noise will be a little better. Uh, you didn't miss much. I just uh, clicked on some words to see their length. Uh, I'm wondering if it's three major categories. Yeah, based on... I still don't know what they're, that's based in. But I'm wondering uh, five inner and around could be Europe. I know I tried European earlier, but there we do have one Europe. Uh, let's try America, no America, uh, Africa, two Africas. The 8-4 moth has been 6 as a 5 in 9-4 as 5. Um, let's try North, okay, South Africa, yeah. In in nine four in something such as um, maybe countries such as the eightful moth has been something as a treated no um, something as a five. Countries such as um, Egypt, Sudan in the news, no, um, South Africa, eight and four. In three dash four seven. Due to the, no, I don't know this because uh, they are, they are 10, 9 to something. And may 7, other 11, 6. Uh, what about plants? No. Look at my two dues due to its G 
due to its something something and something of culture the eight has as something a five eight in the five in the uh, myths maybe of twelve and nine seven that can something on food can live on food you no know, can prey on food can dine on food. Let's see, six. From about something, uh, so I presume that's meters. The six is four of a six of three, four from three to about three meters. <laughs> I hope the insect isn't uh, a three-digit number of meters. Um, what is this? High, wide, and handsome. No, high, wide, deep. What about area. Has something to something the area. Ooh, high 711 has been something major tall major something or something under 410 with high high degrees of confidence to the moth Five. Mm. I wonder if there's an etymology section. No. How about just something about the name? No. The word? No. How about the world? Nope. All right, so we're looking for a type of moth. The eight four moth is an insect from the moth family ten, and it's a relative of the four four moth. I'm thinking that's probably some common words. The four four. The eight is the five. What is that word I'm thinking of? Oh, larva maybe. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what I was going on about earlier. The larva or caterpillar of a something moth. I may have to go through the alphabet again and just think of four letter words that could go before moth. Um, he eats something food are five eight six and then they may eat maybe they may eat other eight seven what do moths eat hmm Oh, have I done insects plural? Let's see anything good there. In the US, maybe eight may nine nine the insect four five to five eight by something in the nine as a seven seven. A something something of insects from four to six to four to sorry to five to five has been something as a I'm thinking it's something like a um, an object of 
worship or veneration. Well, maybe as a taboo? No. Has been, what is that verb? Six letters. And then the four letter country at the end. I'm wondering if we have pre, no, sub, no, non, oh, in non for seven South Africa, non. Hmm. In non blank blank South Africa. I have no idea what they're trying to tell us here. Five, seven, and six, eight. Let me try U, S, yeah, in the US, eight. May nine, nine, the insect, four, five to five. Oh my goodness, it's a long, complicated sentence. What are we doing in the US? Hmm. Six dash one and seven. It's an unusual typography there. Some kind of moth. Uh, do they have a pattern on their surface? No. Um, I'm trying to think of, do they have antennae? No. <laughs> what? what do these moths have? Do they have eyes? Can they not see? Um, something moths. Hmm, it's an insect from the moth family. All right, I am going to uh, just go through the alphabet and try and think of four letter words that go before moth. Well, I've tried a few words with varying degrees of success. I had something about crop and then I tried dead and it was right beside it. It was something dead sick, so I thought of dead leaves. And so we do have some leaves right in the beginning. I think it's one of its uh, main foods are five, eight leaves. So I'm not sure what plant that is. Um, that can something on foods other than eight leaves. And then leaves again. And then I saw something about hair. Um, and then for some reason, I was looking at something that, um, yeah, so here, this section, many, and I just guessed it was legends. Ah, so here we do have, um, I was thinking it might be in popular culture and myth for some um, parts of the world and the peoples therein. Many something legends about the eight are told, I suppose. Uh, but I'm not sure what this story is. Three was a three under a four four into something as uh, maybe she as she something it out and seven to four the four six her and something. She saw something or did something when the something ran out she something a five larva in an instant maybe instant she 
something this caterpillar lava, larva lava, was the six of the four. She uh, showed this. No, she's something this to the people. And it something something. Many more legends. Okay, about the eight are told. Well, I'm pleased that I was right that there would be legends about it, but it really doesn't help me. Uh, let's see. Eight, eight, nine were five, twelve in five more than so many thousand uh, years ago uh, were found. They are typically maybe found in or around Europe, and one found in East Asia, and something found in the seven. Um, for at least has been under three. Yeah, well, here's we have this one again. Hmm. Uh, making it, no, uh, something it blank to five, uh, closer to, no, closer to fine. Here looks like another uh, legend. Not sure what's going on here. And as she six to eight to four other people, maybe to warn other people. No. As she turned. Ooh, uh, three, four turned into a butterfly. No, turned into something. Um, let me try Greek. Is there a Greek legend? No. How about Roman? No. All right, I will try another few four-letter words, uh, and then I will give up, I think. All right, I guessed a few more words. I did get some hits on some common words, like open, often, often something on the something. Often used at open mic nights, I don't know what that is, and used and seen. And then there are some known as, known as 5-3. This is about the food. Um, so nothing really very helpful. So I did, in the end, look up moth types. And I saw there was one called the Luna Moth. But it is not that. But then there was the Latin word acties. No, we don't have that. So I'm going to go back to my research. Okay, another couple of words to try. Wood and gray. I'll try the American spelling. No, I saw there was also a pink moth. No. I did see that uh, moths do have antennae, but for some reason... We did not match on that. Let's try antenna singular. No. And of course they do have wings and yet we um, we only had one match on wings. Did I try wing singular? <laughs> no wings. I did. Oh no, I didn't. I better just try to now. All right, back to my research. Well, I did come across the word I was trying to think of earlier is poop. Pupa, or pupa, which is another word for the chrysalis. Okay. Um, it doesn't really help me. And then, of course, silk moths. Oh, now, here we go. There we go. So the... Oh, could it be Eurasian? No, but it's the something silk moth. Okay, so now I think uh, we can narrow in. Stand by.
All right, it is apparently the domestic silk moth, and hopefully I can remember uh, Bombix mori, which I think is something to do with death, right? All right, um, so I was close, uh, but I, yeah, I should have thought of silk on my own. Let's see, of the 459 players so far, the median is 65, the average is 84. I was way, way behind. I mean, largely because I was just throwing four letter words and other words at the uh, subject. There's a picture, I'll scroll past that. Uh, the moth family Bombicid Bombicidae, uh, the wild silk moth, economically important. White mulberry leaves. Oh, there we go. Dependent on humans for reproduction. Um, types. Process. Cocoon. Research. Domestication. Hobby raising. Genome as food. And silkworm legends. Oh, China. There we go. Vietnam. Uh, oh my goodness, a little PG-17 rated. Okay, silkworm nutrition. Silkworm diseases. <laughs> Glad we know about that. And then C also. All right, so a little disappointing, but uh, that's the way Redactyl goes. I hope you did better than I did. Thank you as always for watching and have a great day.